Now, for more update, TVC News senior reporter Ibrahim Issa joins me on the news. Ibrahim, um, good to see that you are well after you were um, attacked by hoodlums who hijacked um, the protest. But talk to us about this particular development where foreign nationals, we understand, have now been arrested. Um, those who the police say are sponsoring the protest with the Russian flag. Well, thank you very much, Precious. You heard from the Hano State Police Commissioner, Douglas Salman, uh, mentioning the numbers of the number of those who were arrested, about 80 of them. Uh, additionally, uh, yesterday, the police, uh, the, the Kano State Ministry of Justice uh, coordinated the prosecution of more than 600 suspected looters and violent protesters who, as a result of the protest, protest had to go on to public and private uh, property to uh, lay mayhem. So that is currently the situation. So if the, 80, the, the number, 80, 80 people that were arrested are said by the police are also in addition to the more than 600 that are already uh, currently in correctional facility. So Kano State, as we speak, is peaceful. Today there was, uh, we had raids and a lot of people were carrying out their normal hustle and bustle. Kano is peaceful after the August Falls protest that had uh, disrupted a lot of activities. Mm. And, and the police have de described them as foreign nationals. Was any detail given as to where they are from? And do we know what next now after the arrest? Yeah, the details are still sketchy. The, 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 the police commissioner had to speak about it when journalists, when we were, it, it shortly after the security meeting at the government house, and we threw a question to the commissioner about those protesters carrying Russian flags. And uh, that was where we got to know that about 80 of them were already apprehended. So the details of that arrest is too sketchy, but I hope the police will give us much more details on that. And as we as 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 we get the details, we'll make sure that the public are on you know. All right. In terms of Kano said, I know you have said that it is peaceful now. Um, give us more update as to the security, you know, just the security, the state of security in Kano at the moment. Yes, since the since before the protest, there were security arrangements, and during the protest too, there were a lot of uh, security lift up across the city, especially within the eight most metropolitan loop of governments. And as we speak, there are lots of uh, security uh, operatives manning major roads to ensure that there is law and order. Even though there is a uh, relaxation of the curfew, yesterday it was 8 to 2 p.m. and today it's 6 to 6. So immediately after uh, the relaxation, the security operative will ensure that people go back to their homes and also ensure that there is no breakdown of law and order. So the security are currently on ground to ensure that everything goes on smoothly without any banter. Many places are being manned by security, especially the malls and markets where these youths are usually proceed to whenever a situation uh, occur to lose. Thank you so much for the update. Our senior reporter in Kano, um, Ibrahim Issa. Right. In a related development, the police have further warned against the display of foreign flags during protests calling for a military takeover 